I recently just read two books that I enjoyed so much that I hated the ending. And let me tell you right now, she should come out with a third book just because. Because it kind of just feels like it's that standstill now. But the book that I read was called Larger Than Life and Larger Than Life Part 2. The Rise of the Phoenix. Um, and the first book is basically, well, the first and the second book is basically about Kashar and Mitchell. And she's leading a double life. Now, this woman has everything she could ever want. She owns the biggest music producing company ever that's called Larger Than Life. And she has different recording artists. She, she, she's doing it. You know, she has other projects, and you know, she, she's doing it. She's got everything that she wants. But in the back of, you know, in the in the background, she's also second in command to this drug cartel called the Consortium. And I applaud her because she wants out. And she tells her her longtime friend Richard Trespont, who's in the middle of his own battles in court, the head of the consortium, he tell, she tells him that she wants out. And of course, in the drug cartel, there's no such thing as she wants out or you want out. It's blood in, blood out. <laughs> that kind of scared me, but it's kind of cool at the same time. But that's another story. She, in the beginning of the book, she, she wants out. And, you know, at first she's kind of slow to being like, you know what, I'm going to do what I have to do to get out. But then she meets this man named Mars Buchanan. And oh my goodness, he's so dreamy. Lord, I just I just saw him as like a Mars chestnut looking dude. I don't know why. It's just, his Mars really puts her world into perspective. Now, when when things start to blow out of proportion, like of course, once she meets Mars, she realizes this realizes that this man is the love of her life. Okay. And then in the end, she ends up, you know, wanting out because she doesn't feel like she can live a normal life by doing this. And in the end, Mars ends up finding out and it really does hurt him, but she doesn't, it doesn't stop her from her big plan. And she realizes that she cannot get out of the game unless she's killed. So she comes up with this, this elaborate plan to, to get, to get out. And she does, but she ends up losing everyone that she loves, and it goes down. And then it comes down to the second book, which is called The Rise of the Phoenix. Now, the people who like the first book, you might not like the second book. <laughs> I'm just letting you know right now, because it takes place in Brazil, and I'm not even going to tell you the ending of it, but of course Mars ends up finding her, and she ends up changing her name to Darian. And she goes through this extensive all life altering like identity change. Like she gets contact, she bleaches her skin, she changes her nose, her teeth. She's basically a whole different other person. And she changed her identity so that she could live a new life. Okay? But in the end, I don't know whether she just likes trouble or like she like thinks everything's gonna be alright and you know Mars ends up looking at her like, are you, are you crazy? She ends up wanting to go back to the U.S. after creating this elaborate scheme to disappear. She wants to go back. And in the end, she, she does. But her life really, her life is really fast paced. But you also notice, you also find out what happens to her, her record company, Larger Than Life, which she left to her best friend who doesn't know that she's alive. And that ends up going downhill because when you think that everything's going to be okay in Danny and that there's a happy ending to this book, don't expect one. That's all I'm saying. Because, like, I want to say don't expect a happy ending. I'm saying <laughs> the ending makes sense. But it's confusing because you're like, man, what happened? You know? But anyways, Misha, her best friend, ends up taking over Larger Than Life the, the, the record company. And she ends up basically carrying the burden of what Kashari was carrying, except more. You know, and she ends up, Misha, I applaud her, applaud her too, because she, she tried to save her sister's company, but in the end, 
she did a lot, and I don't even want to tell you about it, but she did a lot to try to keep that company, and it just, it didn't work out. But you also end up meeting the next person in command, which is Marcus Means, and that man is 